Cold at the touch, dead in the eyes No signs of life, no more I put your love under the knife Leave me to die, here all alone No signs of life, no more, no A crying dove may never fly Back is the next exercise, of course so for back, what is the most important thing to do when you train in your back? Again, you see, primarily it's technique. Always good technique. And again, I emphasize keeping the body warm. Now, I've always found, and I was told a long time ago, right? Well, before I started, chins, hit the chins, that's going to hit the back. back. Okay, that's a very good starter for the back. Right. right? So always go for the chin. Chins. Yeah. So for people who don't have, because not everybody can chin. You no. know that. I yeah. know that. So, what are your tips for people who are chin who cannot chin? How to get their back stronger to move to the pull-ups or the well, chin? Okay. If you. If, now what I would probably do, what I would do is I would, you know, again, warm, warm up, stretch up, get on to the, to pull the down. pull down. We are the pull down of course, so this is the first exercise. So yeah. tell us how you make a, people move from the pull down to the pull up. Right, okay, so how most people normally when they do, um, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you, can, you can do it, they normally go out very wide, wide like yeah. that. No, I, I, how I like to do it is more bring it going to roughly shoulder width. Okay. Right. There we go. Oh, you need to adjust the weight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So come in. There. All right. So, so when you pull down, you're pulling down and. Right. So that's it. So come down to about here, about the chest, and up. Right. Okay. Come down to. Okay. So a bit lower over the bar. So I pull down. Yeah, a bit lower. It's very heavy, man. Those days are over. Can't do that shit anymore. <laughs> Touche on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Touche on that one. All right, go. Okay. So there. That's it. And up. Down. So, so this, you should be feeling this straight across there and around there. So you do your pull down with your elbows there? Yeah, so I come down. Ah, okay, so yeah. So you from should the, be feeling that. So the conventional pull down which everybody does is yeah. this. Yeah. Or, or wide. Or wide. Yeah. So, so you prefer yeah. to do it with yeah. the elbows. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And then you can switch it out. But switch don't, go, it. don't go too wide. wide. Just go to about on the, on this particular part. Gotcha. I would go probably back around around there. Yeah. This around is, then you do, you do yeah. Or yeah. Okay. There, there or just behind the neck. But I would normally turn so around so that it's dropping. Down. Straight down, yeah. Always look at the machine that you're on. If I'm working on this machine, I would reverse myself so as you're pulling directly down instead of at an angle. So basically, you can turn around and do your yeah. pull down yeah. this way yeah. without having your pad, your, your knees under the yeah, pads. If you, yeah, exactly. If you've got that a big training partner, you, you can hold you back. Yeah. Super. So you can hold me back. Yeah. So, so for, for the people watching, okay, so you have two ways of doing this exercise, as you know. Yeah. So, and you can also have somebody holding the legs, of yeah. course. If and send, you, sorry, go on. Yeah. Yeah, so you can do it from the front here yeah. and the back there, yeah. and having somebody hold you there. Yeah. By holding here. You got okay. it. There. All right. So, if you go to that and take right. a shot from there, so as I can explain why I. I reverse the movement is that if you look at the machine he's pulling directly down and he's not having to whereas if you're facing the other way you're pulling at an angle 
Got it. Okay, so, so you're having it's it's going directly in. The last, yeah. Right. And then again, you know, for the pull down behind the neck, a lot of people are saying, hey, you know, it's a very controversial exercise to do, mm. and it can really harm the back of your neck and put you in a situation when they can harm your spine and so on. I don't believe in this because we've always done it and it never harmed us. Obviously, if you lift heavy, you will have that situation when you do it. Well, of course, as, a, as with any other exercise. That is, but yeah. This is another reason I say to you, look at the machine you're going to be working you know. with. And, if you, and this is, again, why I say, look, you know, just pull. Look, if you're pulling, right, again, you pull from here. When you're working on that, don't pull from here, right, because you pull from there because you want it going in here, right? Now when you're actually, what can happen as regards the in, in injury to the neck is if your head is too far and you're pulling and slamming the bar onto the, bar the neck, it. you don't need to go that far down. Right? So if you're pulling from the elbow, right, you will feel it in the back with your head slightly forward, just missing the obviously your head. And also they don't need to go heavy? No. no. So, so Charlie, this is another question I wanted to ask you. How heavy is heavy? <laughs> How I like to, uh, my, my rule of thumb is don't wrestle the weight, right? Wrestle, when you're wrestling with the weight, it's too heavy, right? When you're using the weight and you're feeling it in the muscle, that's where you should be. Okay, and do not you incorporate, when you're incorporating multiple muscle groups to do the exercise, it's too heavy. For example, if you're pulling down, I see a lot of this, right? So that's a lot of the, momentum is not good. Exactly, right? You're pulling, right? So you're using, the you're targeting the muscles you're training. Okay, good lats by the way. And, uh, they still a little bit of that, thank you brother, thank you, not as good as yours, but hey, you know, uh, you are good man. Now, um, yeah, so, you know, don't fight with the weight, use the weight, okay, so. That's a good one, don't fight with the weight, yeah. use the weight. Ne vous bagarrez pas avec le poids, utilisez le poids, this is your tagline. You know, uh, abs, abs. This is where you should be. This is tagline. You, his tagline, I've got it. Got it Don't nice fight day. with the weight, use the weight. That's, That's a good one. That Charlie is the weight. I'm going to use this. The Je vais tout le temps dire ça et c'est ça son slogan. Ne vous bagarrez pas avec le poids. Utilisez le poids. <laughs> voilà. Et bien sûr. Bien sûr. <laughs> so this is a good oh, yeah. one. Yeah. This is a great, a great tagline because a lot of people can't tell the difference. They think, okay, I'm going to use all the weight I can, I can use and I'm not isolating the muscle tissue. This is beautiful stuff, this is beautiful stuff. So in your heydays, you never went very, very heavy. You were more like the guy who isolated the muscles and increasingly you uh, put, on, put on weight as you evolved in your career, right? Yeah, well look, like Arnold famously said in his videos, right? In, in Punk and Iron, mind muscle. and muscle. Yeah. Right? Mind into muscle. And, that, and what, you know, he's trying to tell you is feel what you're training. You know, if you're, if you're you know, another common um, problem with, 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 with this is that people tend to feel it in their forearms. Reason being, because they feel they have to come down, so they're getting about there, so they do that exactly. to try and, so of course you're going to fatigue your forearms. So, you know, again, mind over yeah, mind into muscle. Into muscle. Feel where you're going with it. Beautiful. Feel the muscle. Target the, the muscle groups that you're training. Exactly.